So recently, a Ukrainian soldier did a fun little TikTok dance. And a number of conservative weirdos decided to get mad at it. You know, the quartering writes, give us our money back. Laverne Spicer writes, we're paying $120 billion so they can do TikTok dances. Did they learn from the TikTok nurses? Some guy named Brando writes, it's the TikTok nurses all over again. It was tone deaf then and it is now tone deaf. You know, go fuck yourself. What are you talking about? So I think it's tempting to look at these tweets as kind of ridiculous, uh, nonsensical, partisan quackery, right? Um, soldiers can never, have never, and will never spend all of their time miserably fighting. Such a such a thing is impossible. Soldiers have always sung and danced uh, because they're human beings, because they're because they're people. And if American soldiers did a little war song or had a little fun, uh, none of these people would get mad because they do this shit all the time. Of course they do. Uh, they've been doing it forever. And there is truth to that interpretation. Don't get me wrong. Uh, these people are hypocrites and liars. And they do love to pretend to find things outrageous, uh, which they wouldn't find outrageous under any other circumstance. That's true. But I think it actually kind of misses the point. No, these people would not get mad at Americans doing a little song or dance uh, in uniform. Obviously, they wouldn't but they'd want to. They'd want to get mad because conservatism at its core is an ideology about um, shitting on people's fun and ruining people's parties, right? This ideology of a uh, TikTok Ukrainian woman can't dance is exactly the same as the ideology uh, that you should be working every minute that you're at your job. That if you, if you have time to lean, you have time to clean. It's this kind of a mindless obedience to torturous, unfun, uh, laborious things uh, that defines conservatism. To be clear, though, because I didn't clarify this before, it's it's not just about pleasure um, universally. It's about uh, unsanctioned pleasure. It's about pleasure that they didn't sign off on, right? You know, if, if a big, beefy, um, strong man did this dance, they'd be fine with it because they'd recognize that he kind of gets to do what he wants. It's the fact that this is a young woman. It's the fact that she's small. It's the fact that this has some relationship to TikTok and youth culture that uh, that sets them off, that makes it inappropriate and deviant in some way. The point here is that there is pleasure and joy in depriving people of things they like when you have power over them. America gave Ukraine some money, and so now conservatives get to revel in the kind of depraved pleasure of denying others. It is fundamentally exactly the same as if you have time to lean, you have time to clean. Because I am your boss, because I have power over you, I get to sort of revel in your pain. Um, okay, just now that we have that clear, bye.